All right, welcome back to the show, everybody. For those of you who don't know, my name's Paul, and our channel, we do all kinds of uh, videos on how to do stuff pertaining to post-frame homes and buildings. And I just want to start this out by saying uh, this week's been tough because we had some issues with steel that wasn't the right length, um, trims that weren't right. So when you're doing stuff on your own, that's just part of the game. Um, it stinks, it backs you up. But today we're gonna cover soffit, fascia, um, our ridge cap we're waiting on, so we didn't get to put that in, so we'll cover that in our next show probably. It should be here in the next couple days. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright guys, so I'm building out the ends of my soffit where my side wall meets my end wall. Uh, we like to run our soffit straight down on the end of the wall all the way to the front side wall fascia. So if you have like a 2 by 12 you can make these in one piece. I do not. Right, so to fill this in, you need three measurements. You need this measurement, which is 22 and a half. I, usually leave myself like an eighth inch so I cut this 22 and 3 eighths you need that which is nine and three quarter and you need that which is two and a quarter so I'm gonna mark 22 and 3 eighths and I'm gonna mark up two and a quarter I'm gonna strike a line here I can slide this board down a little bit I just use long uh, scraps or whatever I have so next measurement I know is nine and three quarters is the height so I'm gonna mark nine three quarters so we got three measurements we got nine and three quarter 22 and three eighths and two and a quarter so I have all those marked. Now, if you have two people, you can use a chalk line. If you're by yourself, you gotta use a straight edge. Now I'll just cut those. These two pieces will fill in that end. Like I said, if you had a two by 12, uh, you can do this in one shot. Just gonna stack these like so. And there's our piece. It's gonna slide up in here like so, hopefully. And then I just toe screw this flush and into the end of the so you can see now the soffit on the side wall will start right here and then I'll take color mash aluminum come down and over and create a J channel for my soffit to come down here
slide that one underneath. So I just put a screw right here. So typically we would run our fascia from the bottom up. However, we don't have the trim I need to finish the soffit down there. So we're gonna run from the top down. We'll just have to slide the pieces in behind these because you want them obviously overlapping so the rain as it runs down is not gonna get in behind the fascia. And then our corner trim will come over the top and die somewhere right in here. screws per piece of fascia and you will get some oil canning if there's an imperfection in the wood anything like that it'll cause oil canning the great thing about fascia is on the side walls when you put your gutters up it hides it and on the ends your corner trims come over and hide most of your fascia so if there is any oil canning need it's usually hidden Got a cut of 512 or 412 on this one. All right, so this first piece, we cut back a few inches. Um, this bottom part, we just measured three, four inches back, cut that tab off, and then you extend that past. Then on your next piece, the overlap piece, you cut a 412 or whatever your pitch is, uh, angle right here, and then overlap it, and then you get a nice finish, finished fascia.
in here. So here's our end detail, just take a colored match, um, trim, bend it to cover this little portion that doesn't get covered with steel, and then I just make a little J for the size of the soffit to extend from the FJ um, down to our fascia. So that's done, we'll put these last two pieces of fascia in. Corner trim will come up here, extend up here, cover all, all this right here, and it'll look real nice. Name of this game is no oil camping. So when you guys are putting these in, I like to start at the bottom and I'll kind of get the piece where I want it. You want this to be as square as possible. If your building is not square, this gets more and more difficult. Um, you, you can get this really close without any oil cleaning when you put it up, but when you get 100 degree days or, you know, zero, you know, single digit days, this metal moves. Um, it just expands and contracts and there's nothing you can do about it. But you gotta do the best you can to get it um, nice and smooth without any oil can when you put it up. And I do that by starting at the bottom, I put one in, come to the middle, kind of adjust it where I like it, put it in, um, try to keep an equal reveal. All this is color match, so it's all gonna blend in anyway. Then we'll put our piece all the way to the peak, put a couple screws in that, and then we'll come back and screw this. And then as you put a screw in, you kinda gotta read the metal. Am I over tightening it? Because when you over tighten it, you'll see the metal kinda uh, deform from the state it's naturally in, so. Go ahead and get yours lined up and kind of look down and then get a screw in.
guys, so you can do a single piece if you want to run your piece over. You just have to mark your pitch, cut straight up, and then bend it over. Um, just with the pieces we had, couldn't do that. So we overlapped them. I just leave one side a little long and bend it over. And then the ridge cap will seal over the top of this. So water should never be an issue right here. And then we just cut the roof pitch right here on the overlapping piece. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in house plans or building plans, reach out to us, design at mrpostframe.com, and we can hook you up uh, with our partner, AP Home Designs, uh, who works with us on designing homes. Um, it's a really good experience, and we can help you get started in building your dream. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.